Hey, what's going on guys? It's TrekYT here, or Nick, back with another Minecraft video. Guys, it's been such a long time, like a month or so since I last did a Minecraft video, and it kind of feels good to do this. Like, I'm finally back on Minecraft. Now, I know I spoke a lot in my last video a little bit about why I wasn't here, and I know a lot of you that are watching this video aren't even here to care about that. You guys are just here to see the base showcase, so I'm going to talk a little bit about my reasons for coming back a little bit more at the end of the video, so if you want to, stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's jump right into today's base showcase. So for today's base showcase, I decided to switch things up, and we're going to be doing three vault designs. So most of these vaults are right around largest scale is probably around 11 by 11 to 10 by 10 i tried to keep them close to 8 by 8 i started with 8 by 8 and then like bases like this one that i'm gonna show you first i went a little bit outwards on the walls just because i wanted to give that shape to it to make it look that good so that for you guys let's jump right into the first one and it is this guy right here um they're all very small they all include an anvil a crafting table and an ender chest in them and then they all have regular chests now i figured since this is a personal vault you don't really have to have an abundant amount of storage. Now, yes, you're going to want a ton of storage. And now, I haven't played factions in ages, so I don't even know how in the world you would, I guess, protect this. I mean, maybe if you're rich and you have bedrock servers, you'd cover the outside of this in bedrock. Or if you're in your own little major super base or something like that, and you just want to have your own personal room, maybe this could be that. So that's kind of where I was coming at with building these things. So that's why they're all about 11 by 11. So there's not too much inside each base to show you. I can show you guys a little bit about the design. So this is supposed to be a cave, obviously. And the way that I tried to really capture that idea is obviously I made the walls as organic as possible but I even up here made it a little bit like there was another thing up there so like if you're in a naturally generated caves you'll be walking through caves and you'll notice holes in the ceiling that are like caves going perpendicular to one another so I kind of had that essence up here where there's still a little hollowness up here and that kind of gave it a little bit better of a vibe of being an actual cave and then obviously I love wilderness things so I went ahead and I made it as wilderness as possible and that's kind of a reoccurring theme in most of these bases I'm showing you today so jumping over to our next one I really tried to keep this one under 10 by 10 I think it's like 10 by 10 or 11 by 11 and the link for every single one of these bases I'm gonna show you today are gonna be down in the description so if you'd like to download them and then put them on your faction server by all means just go ahead and do so so in here I tried to really give it a different vibe to it but still keep that wilderness idea to it so I really like the idea of having I guess a tree inside this base now it's not overly large base but I really wanted to try to put a tree inside it so I have just space over here so I filled it up with some chests and over here I wanted to fill this space with something different and again over here I wanted to fill that space with something different and then that space also so it's kind of like you're only you're like in a tomb of some sort and you have like windows that are blacked out because it's like underground basically and again you can see I I made the ender chest fit in I put the crafting table and the anvil as well over there and then you have your little bit storage here but the only difference is is I want to try to do a creative thing to really expand upwards a little bit so we had this tree i was like why not put a little tree house in it so if you come up in here climb this little ladder you have yourself a little bit more storage and you can kind of see the base down there it's just a little bit i don't know i tried to think of something creative to add a little bit more storage and try to expand upwards as well as just keeping it really cool looking so this is base number two hopefully you guys can decide out of all three of these that i'm going to show you which one is your favorite so jumping over to our last base now this one I really tried to keep under 8x8. Eight eight. I think this is exactly 8x8. Eight eight. Like the whole outside, I think the walls are about 10x10, 10 10, but the actual interior space is 8x8. Eight eight. And now I even made it even smaller because I filled up all that space with as much chest as I possibly could. So I mean, there's not too much to show in here. I can just do a little circle for you, but there really isn't too much. It's just chests on all the walls, and then the floor is sort of just random, but kind of keeps it at that wilderness feel to it. And especially with having the roof being made out of leaves and vines and all that stuff up here, it also gives it an extra wildernessy feel to it. But the way that I did this is I had this 8x8 space, and I really... I wanted to fill it up with as much stuff as possible, but I didn't want it to feel overly cramped. Now, this is definitely a cramped area. As you can see, this is only really a four by about eight, four by about six or seven space. So it really is not that much square footage in here. 
But the way that I made it feel a lot bigger and just made it feel a little less like you're bumping your head everywhere you go is I went upwards. Now, I've stressed this a million times, especially when I was doing Minecraft a lot more often, is that when you want to make something feel a little bit different, uh, I guess bigger, and you want it to feel like you're not bonking your head on anything, just make the roof a lot taller and it makes the space open up so much even though it's really the same like six by four space it's just a lot taller and it just feels way more open and that's just my biggest tip I guess for today is that if you need to make a space feel bigger and you have the opportunity to go up do so it just it makes the thing look a lot better and it makes it feel a lot more cozy and roomy on the inside so I hope these three quick bases were good enough for you guys and was able to give me a little bit of an introduction back into Minecraft after being away from it for over a month or so now so I hopefully that was giving you guys just something that you guys have been long overdue and for those of you that are just here to tune in for the base I hope that the download down in the description you guys can use that and it'll make your base look awesome but I want to just talk a little bit about Minecraft again I know my whole last video was explaining oh my god the reasons why I left the reasons why I'm coming back kind of thing I just wanted to let you guys know that the schedule for Minecraft, there's going to be no schedule, but I'm going to try to do at least a video per week as well as doing those vlogs because it allows me to do the vlogs at the pace that I'm doing them now about once a week, once every two weeks when something cool in my life happens because my life isn't as eventful as I wish it was. I work 40 hours a week, so like there's only so much time in a week and so much time in a day. So it allows me to use those days that I still want to record and it allows me to fill in those other days with Minecraft videos that are still awesome and high quality. So that's kind of where I'm coming from and it allows me to get back into the game that I started with and enjoy so much. It's just there was just a point when I was doing it to the point where I just couldn't take it anymore and it was getting stale. So hopefully coming back at a pace that I feel more comfortable with will allow me to continue to do it for as long as hopefully possible. So if you guys tuned in today and you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely show your support down below as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Can we skip to the good part?